Welcome to part number 23 of Need for Speed Underground 2. This is the movie Chicane, and today we're going to finish stage number 3 by doing the rest of the URL races and these two remaining world map races that I forgot to do. Hopefully this is a drift event through Jackson Heights. Yes, it is. Awesome. Yeah, baby. This here is the downhill drift, and it don't play. In this drift, you're going to be slipping and sliding down the mountain. That's right. You start at the top and work your way down to the bottom. It's going to be coming at you hard. So like you heard before, speed, steering, and handbrake are all going to play huge here. Now just make sure you don't nail traffic, because the locals ain't going to be in on the news, so they're bound to get in your way. At the same time, though, when these fools come up on you, get up as tight as possible on their cars like you're their second skin. Because when you slide up on them and hug them through the curves, you're going to score some large points for stunting like that. And of course, speed keeps your multiplier up. So you want that baby as high as it'll go to keep them points popping off right. Now that you know what you're doing, just jam the throttle to the floor and go big. See you at the base. This is genuinely my favorite part of Need for Speed Underground 2. The drift events at Jackson Heights are the best. So, they work the same way as the regular drift events, except the areas where you can get multiple points are here in the little dirt patches and next to traffic cars. And unlike the other drift events, there's no traffic, and yeah, the other cars have already gone. They set up points already that you have to beat by the time you get down to the hill. This whole area right here, you can get a bunch of points. There we go. 65,000 points. Easy, easy race. Okay, that's it for Jackson Heights events. So let's go ahead and fast forward to the airport. Alright, so here we are at the airport. And now it's time to do the final world event. Bit of a short shift, but I want to ensure that we got ahead of the D35. I really do not want to put up with this bullshit right now. So I just want to ensure that we get the victory here. There we go. Look at that thick Supra. So yeah, there's only, well, two right now, but um, three URL races to go. We're nearly done here. Nearly done. And I believe we get a cutscene right now. Yeah? It's done. Everything is set up. You just make sure you hold up your end of the deal, you hear? So, I want to mention one thing right now. If there's one thing that I hate about this game, it's the races for the URL at the airport. Why? Because a lot of the tracks at the airport, they suck. And the rubber banding is ridiculous. With that being said, here we go.
Okay, so... Uh, don't worry about it, Lucino. It's fine. Um, okay, so you know how rubber band works, right? Where, like, if you pull on it... You know, no matter where you pull it or push it or whatever, it'll always come back. So, the way rubber banding works is... No matter how far ahead you get or how far you find... How far you find... How far you fall behind, the AI cars will always either speed up or slow down and stick with you. Same way how a rubber band always stays kind of in place, no matter where you pull it. What if the band breaks? Well, that's a good question. <laughs> I never really gave it much thought. Well, if the band breaks, then you have to go buy another one. And if the band breaks here, well, it's pretty much the uh, URL races here at the airport. That's when the band breaks. Pretty much, it's a catch up. I seriously can't wait to look at the level 2 nitrous because god damn I hate the level 1 nitrous so much in this game. <laughs> Catch up. Now I'm going to finish this race just in case it is a championship. If it is, then awesome. If not, then damn it. Yep, it's a championship. So we're behind by two points. Behind Andrew in the 3000 GT. And we gotta take him out. To ensure that we win the championship. Well, Andrew avoided all the carnage, which is not good. So I'm going to stick behind him, get some of the nitrous back, and then... Problem solved, maybe? Yep, problem solved. Yeah, I get it, Lucino. <laughs> I get it. As long as Andrew doesn't come back. I mean, we could finish second. We just need to score two more points than he does. Maybe the sponsors won't be too happy with that, but hey. We're looking for points here, right? It's currently 1 o'clock where I am. We have a lot of nitrous now for this final lap. Just in case we need it, which I'm pretty sure we will. Oh, damn, it was 1.45 a.m. where you're at. Damn. So you're staying up late for the stream. I appreciate that, man.
The nitrous, because of how short the burst is, I'm gonna wait for the final stretch to use it. win the championship by two points <laughs> it's 420 in your country new taillights and new car in the inventory I do not think we will change the taillights on this car at all I don't think so Ooh, this one kind of looks like a fake old Indianapolis road course. Ooh, cutscene! Here we go. Check it out! It's the Big Daddy Champ from up north. Nah, man, can't be. Looks more like a jump than a champ. So you're what all the fuss is about? <laughs> Don't look like much to me. <laughs> you got that right. You haven't got a chance, hero. On or off the track. You know what would be nice? If we knew who the hell these people are Or what their group is called Which by the way they're called the Wraiths Or Wraths or something But that's one of the problems I have with this game It's like The story It's like it's kind of confusing Because it's like stage 3 at this point It's so far apart from the actual cutscene That provided story That you kind of forgot who these people even are It doesn't matter. Need for Speed Games is not really meant for the story anyways. They're meant for the street racing. <laughs> exactly, Plev King. Sorry, I had to take out my... My uh, Supra brother right there. Dude, that Hyundai Tiburon is ugly with its Orion body kit. Okay, so we got enough nitrous now. Damn it. <laughs> They're all doing the wall riding technique. Dude, that Mustang nearly took me out. That might be one of um, the crew members for the Wraiths. Might be. I don't know yet. Then again, they don't really establish who they are to begin with, so you don't know. Final lap. Sorry, Corolla, you're not winning.
I realized I was in the wrong gear. Come on. Ah, oh, damn it. Please tell me it's a championship because I want to use it as a thumbnail. Yes, it is. Awesome. Awesome. It's a, it's a thumbnail. That's going to be the thumbnail for this video. So let me go ahead and make it real quick. And on to the next race. So the Supra is going to be the main competitor here. Got to work together with the other cars to ensure that the Supra does not finish higher than us. Nor does it get near the front. Yes. Go ahead, Corolla. Go ahead, A88. Hey, Sam. How's it going, man? Just here, just doing the URL races in our new Supra. Sorry, I gotta get the lead. Dude, I'm just abusing the hell out of that cell, uh, that cell, cause that Corolla. So we have a pretty good gap between ourselves and second place, although the rubber banding hasn't kicked in yet. We're just kind of waiting for that to happen. <laughs> the underground wall riding league. That's the real meaning of the URL, the UWRL. Final lap. Literally, like later, am I playing with a controller or PS2 wheel? I'm not playing on PS2, I'm playing on PC. And. Okay, Lucino, you know, see you in a bit, man. Um, I'm playing on PC and I'm using an Xbox One controller to play. But what I was going to say was, in stage 4 and 5 is when we're going to really have to ride the walls in order to win some of these races. Oh shit, that's uh, what's his face? We're tied for the points, and somehow I won the championship. I don't know why. I'm not complaining. I'll take it. <laughs> All right, so here we go. The final event in stage number three, at least for right now. And here we go. Let's go do it. More URL shenanigans begin right now. Well, that was a good start. Oh, I, dude, I'm sorry, I'm stupid. <laughs> I I didn't read what you I didn't really read everything you said. I just kinda glanced real quick and I as a trophy's calling, I was like, okay. Sorry. <laughs> oh, because you wrote not quitting from the stream, I was just like, oh, he's probably gonna go somewhere real quick. Yeah, blame me and my stupidity, sorry. Dude, that freaking Pojo with that body kit looks like the Crimson Chin. Hashtag URL win. What if I don't want to win?
Oh man, he's right there. Gotta get away. Oh, you know, just people casually street racing on an open airport. You know, TSA don't give a damn. You know, people on the airplane getting a free show while they're landing. Makes all the sense in the world, right? Well, rest in peace to that dude. Who remembers Paul Walker Supra? Uh, I think all of us do. I mean, it's pretty iconic in the rice world, so... Those Fast and Furious cars are really cool. The old Fast and Furious movies, not the new crap that we have now. Rest in peace, Paul Walker. Yep. And Roger Rodas, the Pearly World Challenge driver he was in the car with. Yeah, that, that does make a little sense. Yeah, the plane's taking off and landing. It's like, no big deal. You know, this is clearly, you know, this could be a, a clear, you know, safety issue and an issue of national security, but hey, whatever. You know, it's okay, they're ricers. What, what are they gonna do except for just ride around the walls of the airport? Damn it. Uh, yes, the Carrera GT. That's that's the car that he was in. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was... Wow, that was a great start. Freaking GT Sport Tactics right here. What is sportsmanship? Yeah, it's tragic, man. Hard down intensifies. Wow, they're four wide behind us. Man, these rubber banding cars do not play around. So we gotta save the nitrous for the end. It's not like we have level two or three nitrous yet. Sadly. Nope. Nope, you're not taking the lead. Once he takes the lead, that he's pretty much gone at that point. Impossible to catch. God damn it, right when I say that. Hey, what's up, Mikhail? How's it going? Man, 
man. The dogs outside are just barking like crazy. That's a nice takeout. Yep. Nice takeout rice, huh? Get it. Ha ha ha. Anyways. Oh, crap. That's the guy who finished first last time. Nope. No, you don't. The Eclipse in the lead? That's fine. I'm okay with this. Because it allows me to get that Nitrous, then ride these walls. And then come out of this little chicane, I guess. There we go, we win. I think we win the championship now. Yep. And there we go, that's the end of stage three. We're all done with stage three, finally. And we've unlocked Cole Harbor, well, he's half of it. Got some new spoilers, Cole Harbor, and then new car lot inventory. You nailed it! Great win! You're free from the last deal now, so get out there and score another sponsor. Just make sure to keep winning. It's nice to be free, isn't it? Dude, you might want to check out the scenery in Cole Harbor. I heard the highway just got cleared up. Okay, Rachel, I'll go check it out in a bit. But first, before we end this segment, let's go to the car lot real quick. No, we're not out running just yet. Later. So, the question is... What is available in the dealership? I know we don't have a sponsor yet, but let's just go see. Hey, thanks, Shashank. Appreciate it. So, Volkswagen Golf, Audi A3, Acura RSX... Mitsubishi Eclipse, and Audi TT. That's what we have available. So, in two segments from now, you'll see what we get. Or maybe even next video. No, actually no. It'd be three videos from now. <laughs> Talk about suspense.